Draw every day with JJK. I uh, am taking requests to draw from the audience. And let me pull up the entry form on my laptop to see what ideas have come in from across the country and in some cases across the globe. Okay, here's a submission that was sent in uh, from Ruby. Ruby is from Pennsylvania. Ruby is interested in uh, my drawing uh, a rabbit that bakes cakes. I'm going to assume a rabbit would be baking a carrot cake. Uh, that's that's just me. That's what I'm thinking. So uh, again, as always, I'm going to start with my shapes. So a shape for the head, a shape for the body, sort of where the arms go and the legs go. And of course the bunny rabbit has big ears. And I want to say, let's give this rabbit an apron. And let's have the rabbit be in the point where they might be mixing the batter. And when I want to have a character be very happy and, con and content, I draw their eyes closed and point it downward like so. And that just communicates that the character is uh, just happy and just really chill. Now this morning, instead of drawing with just a, a marker or a Sharpie like you typically see me draw with, I'm going to draw with a brush pen. And so there's ink all loaded up in this. And when I give this a little squeeze, ink will come out. Oh, wait a minute. This ink pen, this ink pen is run out of ink. I have another one over here, but I want to show you something cool when you have a brush pen that's run out of ink. You get this cool texture. So I'm not going to throw this away. I'm going to hold on to it because I could use that for something down the line. I don't know what just at the moment. But I'll, I'll use it for something. Okay, here's a brush pen that's loaded up with fresh ink. So if I give it a little squeeze, the ink will come down here and loads up right there. And what I like about drawing with a brush is if I apply a lot of pressure, that line will be thick like that. If I apply just the slightest bit of pressure, it'll be thin. And then with one flick of my wrist, it can go from thick to thin just like that. Oh, geez, you know what I did? I'm a righty, and this is all wet ink. And so if I try to draw here, that's going to get on my on my hand, and it's going to make a mess. So I'm going to have to, for now, I'm just going to cut out this part of the paper. And let me play some music in the background while I work. All right, now I can safely put my hand down here. And I'm going to ink in this rabbit. And what I'll do is I'll flick my wrist like that to give that rabbit some fur and hair.
rabbit tail there. Pick up rabbit feet. I'll have the batter going everywhere there. It's a little messy. And if I want to show that there's motion and the character is is moving uh, their 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 arms there, I'll just go like that. There we go. All right. So let me get a fresh piece of paper here. I'll put this little rabbit aside and I will go back to checking out my list to see what other ideas have come in from you, the viewers. And, and also, you, this might be a good time if you want to press pause and if you would like to draw a rabbit that is baking a cake, it would be a good time to hit pause and do that. Right. Let me see what else we have here. Oh, here's here's a funny one. This is from Connor from New Hampshire. Connor from New Hampshire uh, would like to see us draw a, a tin can that is a garbage collector. A tin can that is a garbage collector. All right, let's let's think about that for a moment. A tin can. That is a garbage collector. All right, I think I think I have it. I think I have it. Let's see. I'm going to draw my shapes. Tin can. And I want this tin can to be a jovial character that is dutifully taking out the trash. It has to be, I think this is a giant tin can. Let me, let me make a different decision on where that leg will go. And that's why we sketch out and draw all of the shapes before we go into detail. We might want to make some changes. I'm going to have that tin can whistling and so happy and energetic that they're, the character's eyes are closed, but they're arched upwards like that. And maybe the label could be the clothes. And this will be the this will be the garbage truck right there. Okay, and take out my brush pen again. You know what? Let's also let's give this let's give this character a little hat. Oh, wrong brush pen. Oh, you know what? This will be really good. This is the, the dried up brush pen. That'll help create like the dust and the and the gunk on the garbage truck. A little hat for the tin can. And some whistling musical notes to show that the character is whistling. Oh, and of course, if you're a garbage collector, you have gloves to protect your hands. Let's give this tin can some big old boots too. Some work boots. And the side of that garbage truck. Okay, now we have this dried up brush pen and it'll give us some good crusty texture for that garbage truck maybe the ground underneath. Here we are. There we are. All right. There so there there is our our tin can 
that is a garbage collector. Let me dip back into the suggestions that people have had. Okay. Um, Emily from New Hampshire would like to us to draw a cat that likes to knit. Right, a cat that likes to knit. Let's think about where where one knits, probably sitting down, probably somewhere cozy, maybe by the fireplace. Let's let's create a scene of a cat that likes to knit. And this is from Emily in New Hampshire. So again, I'm going to start off by finding the shapes, shape for the head, shape for the body, and the arms and legs. Let's give a big, cozy chair for this cat that likes to knit. And we'll put a little fireplace here. And eyes and a mouth. Now let's give this cat glasses. Cat eye glasses. I wonder if a cat that likes to knit has to use a lot of self-control not to want to play with that ball of yarn. Something to think about. And you know what, let's give this cat a big, cozy turtleneck sweater. Here we go. I imagine this cat is keeping warm all winter with various pieces they're knitting. So these are called cat eyeglasses. turtleneck sweater there nice and bulky and cozy okay what is this cat going to be knitting that we didn't think about how about how about let's put the ball of yarn here so I made a different decision on where the ball of yarn is going to be and hmm um, Maybe a pair, you know, how about some Too. Let's give that cat tail some stripes. Or maybe some stripes on the actual cat fur as well. Add some texture there. And that cozy fireplace. put in some some details we could maybe add some family photos on that mantle add a little bit of extra story through the visuals there for different cats and instead of drawing the fire with this black brush pen I'm going to get my markers that have warm colors the warm colors are red orange and yellow and Red, and orange, and yellow. There we are. There we are. <laughs> nice. There's, there is our, 
there is our cat that is knitting by the fireplace. Look at that. Okay, um, let's put this aside here uh, and let's let's take a moment to check in with the dogs. I have Bella Carmilla and the Frenchie and Frank the Pug on standby. Siblings don't always get along, do they? Especially when they're around each other all the time. All right, uh, some great scribbles were sent in by some of the viewers. Let's play the scribble game. Scribble game! All right, so two scribbles here today. Um, uh, Aisha, I'm sorry, I keep getting your name wrong, and, I, and your parents corrected me. Asia or Asha? I think it's I think it's Asia from Tennessee sent in this one. Apologies for the I can put a phonetical field on the on the where you submit your work and Ruby uh, from Pennsylvania. So let's start with uh, Asia down in Tennessee. Uh, Asia sent in this scribble and let me grab a purple because they Asia drew with. A, uh, a blue and let's see what we see here hmm kind of a difficult one but that's what makes this game so much fun I see a couple different things here maybe you see something there too but I see a profile of a person. This is their nose. That's their chin. This is their mouth. This is one eye. This is another eye. Big hair. One ear. There we go. There we go. All right. Now this one here is from from Ruby in Pennsylvania. Ruby drew with red. So I'm gonna I'm gonna stick with the purple. I like to use a different color than the other scribbler. I see a bird. You see a bird? There, it's a bird. Well, thank you to all of the scribblers from this week. I appreciate you sending your stuff in. Um, ask your grown-ups about how you could also submit your work to be featured in the show, either with an idea for me to draw, a scribble, or to see your artwork featured at the end of the show. We're going to run all of the artwork uh, that was sent in. As always, I'm so impressed that you're using art and making art. Uh, send some, 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 uh, blah, 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 blah. Send some stuff in, and I will see you all next Saturday. Mm -hmm.